What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Lincoln Co. 01 video. Today we are doing the second electric range test with the Lincoln Co. And that is because it is currently early March and that means it is a total different time of the year which also affects the battery and the electric usage of the car. Previous test with the 01 was very impressive. We did that late in the summer and we managed to get 82 fully electric kilometers back then. I was very surprised about that because the WLTP of this car is 69 kilometers, so that was very impressive. But we are here today, it's only 9 degrees Celsius, so that means the battery is pretty cold. That also means the car needs to use electricity for, for example, heating up the cabin and such. So I expect that the range today will be a little less. But anyway, we're going to find out. And by doing so, we are currently in the pure mode. That is the most efficient mode of the car, which also enables for the most electric usage. Um, besides that, we are in the B mode. That means we are regenerating when we go off the throw or off the gas pedal. And besides that, the climate control is on the current eco mode. So that are the rules. We are testing the car once again on my standardized test track, which we also put the Zero One on previous time, but also, for example, the Ford Kuga PHEV, which was also very impressive. Link to that video is also now on the screen. But anyway, that is 32 kilometers um, is one lap so to say and that consists of local roads national roads and highway to sample a bit of daily driving or your daily commute to work for example so that being said we left with 79 electric kilometers the charge was 100 percent state of charge and already we are driving now three kilometers and we only have 73 left so at, over there you already see the impact of the colder weather anyway time to head on and find out how far we get So in case you're not familiar with the Lincoln Co. 01, um, this is a plug-in hybrid car, which means you can drive on petrol and electricity. Um, this car totally is good for 260 horsepower, of which 80 horsepower comes from an electric motor. That motor is then again powered by a battery pack of 17.6 kilowatt hours, um, of which usable about 14, 14.1 kilowatt hours. Um, besides that, if the electricity is basically gone so to say then you are left with a petrol engine uh, on the front wheels as well of 180 horsepower it is a three-cylinder turbocharged engine familiar from uh, volvo cars as well as the volvo xc40 t5 recharge the plug-in hybrid from volvo also has this similar drivetrain they also come from the same platform the cma platform from the geely and volvo cars groups um, the compact modular architecture of which also the Polestar 2, the C40, the XC40, Lincoln Co. 01 are all based. So that's uh, a bit of homework for you today. Alright, so we have entered the highway for the first time, first round of course. Um, currently we have 56 kilometers left on the charge, meanwhile we have done about 20. So still pretty decent and kind of as the car indicated as well at this moment. So I'm quite wondering how far we will get eventually. Anyway, car's driving great, having fun, let's continue. Alright guys, so we have done the first lap of our test track. Uh, currently we have about 42 electric kilometers left. Uh, we've done already 33, so if the estimation of the car is right, that will be a quite impressive result, despite only being 8 Celsius degrees currently here in early March. So, second round, there we go.
All right, so we are on the highway for the second time, currently in the second lap, of course. Uh, state of charge left is 20 electric kilometers, and until now we have done 50, so it's pretty impressive. Would make about 70. Well, that would be according to the WLTP, so I wonder where we will end eventually. I expect that we will be able at least to finish this round and then perhaps start with a bit of a third lap, but I'm pretty sure we won't make it. Um, all around but anyway uh, i'm quite impressed once again by the by the lincoln co with the range um, i would have expected to have about 50 kilometers but we already exceeded that so very impressed uh, let's wait and see All right, so we have started our third lap. We made it, but I gotta say that the state of charge is already on the stripes. That means basically that it is below five kilometers of electric range. So we are driving on the last few bits of electricity at this moment. Yeah, so let's wait and see until the engine will kick in. All right, folks, the engine has kicked in and we made 68.5 full electric kilometers. So that is less than the WLTP of 69 kilometers. Uh, maybe as expected, of course, being early March, low temperature, seven degrees Celsius at this moment. But I think still pretty acceptable that we at least make the WLTP. I mean, many brands even don't make that. So um, there you go, another test. 68 and a half kilometers e-range within the Lincoln Co here in early March. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments regarding the 01, pop them down below. And also do not forget that I made a couple of other videos about the 01, tips and tricks, information and all that about this car. So if you want to check that out, it is all on my channel. That being said, as always, I thank you a lot for watching. And of course, I see you guys in a next video. Bye bye.